What the heck just happened? Well, we just went and saw Mortal Kombat. Yeah, that's that is exactly what happened. I'm still fathoming everything that just like trying to get grips of what just actually happened. The new Mortal Kombat movies out and we've got we've got a lot to say. Yeah. But bas- a lot. we're going to try to keep this lot to say really short cuz this is basically a discussion i.e. like a review. This isn't a full on podcast. Right. Um so we're going to hit three categories. Forrest was going to be with us, but we got other stuff to do. We just wanted to get this out. Well, it's fresh on our bri- fresh on our brines. It's, yeah, yeah. You're your all right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, that's gonna be it. We'll see you guys yeah. on the next one. Fresh in our brains. Um, and he had some other stuff he had to go do. So maybe I'll we'll do a stream of Mortal Kombat anyway and talk about it. Anyway, we're gonna hit three subjects: likes, dislikes, and our uh, overall rating of the movie. Okay. So I think we'll start with. What should we start with? dislikes and then get slowly progressively more positive with the likes okay and then yeah okay well my first dislike my biggest dislike i'm sorry my favorite mortal kombat female they butchered her melina i'm sorry yeah. they butchered melina so hard and we're getting right into it first of all this is spoilers this is spoilers so if you haven't seen the movie go see it don't watch this trying to make your opinion off of ours because these are just our opinions go see it for yourself exactly anyway Melina, one of the char- easiest characters to get right. Easiest. Easiest. They they butcher her. Like, yeah, towards the end of the movie, she gets really mad and she like opens her mouth real wide. And then her mouth cracks open, showing more teeth. But sorry, that's not what Melina looks like. Like, I'm no. sorry. I'm sorry. There's just like you can't and 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 Melina, like, she is just really she's really just a hired gun essentially yeah like in in mortal Kombat, because the way i because we were gonna have forrest who's a super fan even though he uh you know he's doing his thing whatever brady who's yeah not uh, you, i'm there you're I've there owned, like three mortal Kombat games and me there too who's played this i've played deception armageddon mk1 and then the most recent three so I'm not huge into the lore, but I know, I know, I know a, a good bit. And I usually, I'm following the MK9 saga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would so say that's probably what trilogy. I'm following. Yeah, so I'm following that story from MK9 to MK11. And I know there's a lot of inaccuracies and, you know, they basically rewrote the story of Mortal Kombat through the games. With this, again, Melina, they, you can't have Melina without Katana. So where the heck is Katana? Yeah, that's the other thing. Um, I was kind of bummed not seeing Katana, but I agree. Melina's not even my favorite character, and I was disappointed in the way she looked. Yeah. Just, just I knew who she was from the get-go, but, you know, because it's blatantly obvious. But other than that, like, it just kind of was just, I wish they would, I wish that they would have went with a mask, a fabric mask like she wears until she pulled it down to mm-hmm. go do the bite attack. And then they should have done her mouth, right? Like, that's all you have to worry about with Melina. Her weapons, honestly, who you cast for her, and almost anybody could be Melina, essentially, like any. Uh, uh, if you want to get technical, cancel us, if you will. This is a black guy saying this. Melina is black in the in the movie. She's Asian. Yeah. Melina's Asian. Yeah. So And she's a clone of Katana. Oh, I didn't know that. You didn't know that? I didn't know that. I thought you played MK9. I did, but I don't ever remember playing the story. We just would fight each other. Uh, then why are you here? You know, I still ask myself that question. <sighs> Get out! Anyway, 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 keep it on, keep it on, keep it on. So I just didn't like how they did Melina. Um, she, and again, like I say, the whole hired gun thing, that's a, essentially what Shang Tsung wanted her to be when he rose to power, if he ever rose to power. Um, but they... Um, Melina had always wanted the throne when her father dies, mm-hmm. and a se- and obviously Shao Kahn's dead in this world, or in this in this story. Mm-hmm. He's nowhere to be found, or else he'd be conquering worlds. Yeah. So Melina's just okay with being a hired gun, and she hardly has any dialogue. Oh, hardly. Hardly. She only really talks to Sonya like once or twice, and she like in the games talks a lot, all the time, all the time. Because that mouth, yeah. Because that mouth, and they all they really did was just give her a blood smirk. Over her lips and her cheeks. That's I mean, all they really. Yeah. That's all they did. She didn't look good. The actress did great though. The actress did really, really good. I like how they implemented stuff from the game, um, mm-hmm. teleporting. But we'll get to the likes in a little bit. Um, what's a dislike of yours? Oh man. Um, 
Gosh, man, I have to think about it. I know there were some things, but now, like, we just got here. Come I on, know, I know. I'm thinking. Give me a second. You come up with something. I'm, do do something else of yours. My 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 other dislike is I don't like how they did the whole Sub Zero Scorpion thing. Um, to me, I'm very true to the whole thing of Quan Chi manipulated everything. Mm. He manipulated Scorpion into thinking that it was it was it was Sub Zero who killed his family and all that stuff, and then basically used scorpion as a tool to be in his army essentially he was a specter you know Mm -hmm. he was controlled by quan chi with this it's just he dies goes to hell and is just chilling in hell until he's summoned essentially and and the the kid the new kid um i can't even remember his name uh you know what that's is it connor young or something it's it's something young yeah i I don't i can't i can't remember his name it's something young but he um they have this huge buildup, and you think that he's like directly related to Scorpion. He is, but Scorpion's just his late, is like early, early ancestor. Right. That's all Scorpion is to him. And I still, to this day, is his power. So well, I can't even remember. That's the thing, too. Another thing I did not like about this movie was they had the mortal, essentially a Mortal Kombat dragon brand on them that meant that they're a combatant and they've been chosen to fight in the, in the tournament. And that then gives them a superpower. So that they can fight. They didn't like that. Yeah, it was... Because as far as I know from the Mortal Kombat lore, you get picked because you're one of the best fighters of your realm. Yeah. Not because you were branded. You're like, oh, he's one of the best fighters of his realm. They might not realize it, but yeah, we're going to pick him. Yeah, they may not realize it. We're going to pick him. And that's where that came from. So that was thrown off for me too. Um, I'm not sure. I know it's the movie and they had to have something, but I don't know how I feel about this new character. I, and that's that with that too. That's kind of like where I'm at. I'm like, what even is his special power? It, is it that just that he gets that weird suit and he can summon Scorpion? Well, and he gets the, the arm, weapons. the arm things. But then that's the thing is I really hope they weren't going to do the black Panther suit thing where he can take the energy and then redistribute it into a giant burst. Because when they were hitting him, he was obviously the suit started glowing. Mm-hmm. Like, don't do it. They kind of did though. Well, he didn't really redistribute right it anywhere. Just it was like absorbing the hits and stuff like mm-hmm. that, essentially. But yeah, I don't know how. I, I I like him as a character. I like I like the actor. I like him as a dude. I wish they would have introduced him. So it's like because I'm like okay, if he's cool enough, put him in a game. And, and it's always that's a possibility. How I was looking at. That's how I was looking at. Yeah, it. and it's always a possibility. Um. That they could do that, but for right now, I'm not a big fan just because I just I feel like they could have just done it differently. We could have followed, we could have followed any other character, Sonya. We could have made the movie could have been Sonya, yeah, getting her mark, and I would have been a lot more understanding of that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas the way that they're just like, hey, here's a new character, he's gonna get his own abilities and everything, and that's what I was waiting for. As I was waiting for him to be revealed, like he was gonna adopt a new name because he would find out from Raiden. Hey, yeah. this is your lineage. This is your actual name. And we're like, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. So I would say that was probably one of my dislikes. And then obviously the littlest, teeniest dislike was the parachuting scene. But yeah, that. And I, that. I, I was expecting him, like, the second it was, like, revealed that he was essentially just a, a, a gateway for Scorpion to come to... to, to Get vengeance. To essentially, uh, essentially, Scorpion, a way for Scorpion just to come up and kill Sub-Zero. Because now Scorpion has no re- Scorpion. Scorpion and Sub Zero are the two biggest Mortal Kombat characters ever. Ever. Pretty and sure they're just, in every and game. And you just have him pop up, kill Sub Zero. Now he has no reason to show up in Mortal Kombat anymore. Like he really doesn't. He got his vengeance. Why would he? Why would he fight? Right. Exactly. And why, why Sub Zero's technically, which we all know. For those of you that do know the lore, for those of you that don't, you'll find out about like Sub Zero, at least the first Sub Zero. Oh like, yeah, this B- Bihan becomes noob. Yeah. But that's only because um, I can't remember. Forrest may know better that because Shang Tsung or Quan Chi brings him back mm-hmm. as noob. Um, but that's that's with this this new young character. I can't. We're going kind of going break next speed. Kind of going yeah. break next speed. We're gonna keep this short and sweet. Um, but the next thing next thing on my dislikes, um, I didn't like Raiden. And I was just about to say I didn't like Kano. I, I loved I, Kano. Hold up. Uh, let me rephrase what I say. So I, I love the actor as Kano. I think he did perfect. I think the outfit, his gear, his attire, everything about him was good. And, and, and this could be because I don't understand the lore of Kano. I know Kano with 
the mechanical eye. That's that's not the yes, the re- exactly what you're saying. That is a big thing with that whole that whole chi chakra. I don't even know what they called it. Yeah, that's the problem with the brand is Kano is Kano because of his tech, the tech that he has. The, the tech gives him and, the laser and the chest piece and the, yeah, the, yeah. That's what and essentially the tech with Sonya with her little onion rings. Mm-hmm. Uh, spoiler alert: Sonya gets her her powers that she has the onion rings, but that's. Now we all we already know what's going to happen with again at the end Johnny Cage. He's not in the movie. Johnny My Cage is in the movie. Johnny Cage is in the movie, and I'm uh, the way that they did it. It would have it it made sense the way the movie was supposed to go with Kano being the comic relief because that's what Johnny would have been. Right. Exactly. I going back to my point with Raiden. Sorry, with Raiden, I didn't like Raiden because in the movie in the games, Raiden is kind of like when all things are bad. Raiden's still that beacon of hope. Mm-hmm. He still has a positive-ish attitude. He can be mean and 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 ruthless when he needs to be and when it comes to it. But other than that, Raiden's a person who you sympathize with, and he's kind of like that. He's the that, wise old man you he, go to. He, yeah, he's that wise old man. He's the mentor. He's this. He's that. In this one, he's Liu Kang's doing everything. Yeah. Kung Lao is doing everything. Raiden only shows up to be little people and then go away. Yeah. And then just teleport people back and forth. Like, you don't even see Raiden fight. Mm-hmm. Like... You don't, granted, you don't really see him fight in the games either until like it's against Shao Connor and something like that. But this Raiden, he's just a dick for, yeah. for no reason. He's like, you know, like the whole thing with Sonya too, how Sonya trying to find her little chakra thing and they kill Kano in the, in the first movie. And again, the stuff with Kano, the backstory for Kano is that Sonya found Kano when he murdered a guy. Mm-hmm. Kano essentially was part of special forces, but he was a rat, he was a mole. He betrayed the special forces for to the Black Dragon. Mm-hmm. Kano and Sonya came up together. Kano, Sonya, and Jax all came up together. Yeah, They were all together. I hate this new lore. Now, there's, there is, we're kind of seeping into the good stuff with, with, with um, the movie, is that I actually, I liked Kano. I felt like he was joking a lot. I feel like they had him rely on the F-bomb a lot. Yeah, well, yeah, once they got the rated R ability, they probably yeah. just let him fly. A lot. But he was, he was to me, he was the best part of the movie. I, I, you know, I'm, I think I'm going to have to agree. If you look past the how they messed up how Kano actually is, because he had, it, they had the little nod to his, to his eye being, you know, the whole scratch. Yeah. I thought that that was going to be ripped off and you were going to see the metal. Right. Or I figured that was going to be the way they introduced the technology. Like, oh, mm-hmm. he got his face half ripped off. We're going to give him a metal, all the metal parts. It's just the fixes. metal eye that he has and the skull. Yeah. yeah. So, but, and then as far as likes. Um, oh, well, I have one more dislike. I, okay. I have I have several dislikes, but we'll maybe we'll do an extended one of this when we can get Forrest back on. But another dislike of mine was Jax's arms. I didn't like Jax's arms from the jump. I loved Jax at the end. But I just hated how just him lifting up that rock to save Sonya because Sonya, um, Cabal and all of them come come out and they're fighting him and Raiden right Sky Temple and stuff like that. And Sonya gets injured and there's a rock on top of her and Jax has these little twiggy T Rex arms and he's trying to lift up the ro- the boulder and he's like, oh, this isn't working. Then he he tests his might and he starts building. They start coming to life. To life, and, like, they start building on top of each other, like, some weird, like, cyborg transformer See, stuff. And I was like, that's stupid. Yeah, because like, doesn't he get given them, like, they get attached they to They get him. attached to him after Ermac rips them off. Yeah. That's what it is. That's what it is. And they didn't even have Ermac in this, but they had Shang Tsung who creates Ermac. Oh, my gosh. There was such big missed opportunities. Like, my final dislike that I'll put out here is that I hate how they killed off a bunch of major people. They killed off Goro. They killed off Melina. They killed off Cabal. I can't remember the flying chick's name, but they killed her off. Reiko, I, he was kind of stupid. He was the guy with the hammer. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was kind of eh. Like, I was like, I don't really care about this guy. He just makes his eyes big and swings his hammer. Okay, whatever. They killed off all these main... They killed off Sub-Zero. Granted, how what I wish they would have... How they would have killed Sub-Zero is when Scorpion rips off his... He takes off his mask. Yeah, that's another dislike. Sorry. Sorry. Another another dislike is that towards the at the end of the movie, Sub, Scorpion just keeps taking off his mask and putting it back on. Oh yeah, where he's like, like he's like, yes, it's like just like, take, just keep it off, yeah, dude. Yeah, like just keep it off. And so, how I wish they would have killed off Sub Zero is Scorpion does the whole thing where he breathes the fire on him, and then as Scorp- Sub Zero's burning, he grabs his neck and does the classic ripping 
The spine out. Yeah, the spine out. Even though I know that Sub Zero's thing, but he would have been kind of like, "Hey, I'm taking your fucking shit from you." Yeah. Because in the game, he after he kills Sub Zero, he comes back to Shang Tsung's temple and he's holding Sub Zero's head or his his skull uh, and spine, and then he okay. just drops it. Like that would have been poetic instead of just having to just burn. It's like, dude, you've been waiting for this for how long? You're just gonna set him on fire and let him be there? Like, no, yeah. make him suffer. But anyway, as far as likes, as far as likes, man. Honestly, I think one of the big things for me watching the old Mortal Kombat movie in movies, was there one or was there two? I want to say there was one. There was Mortal Kombat, the movie, and then there was Annihilation that I remember that I, I could be wrong. Right. Annihilation was poo. So one of the, one ever one it was um, of the old, old Mortal Kombat movies, we've just come so far with technology. And so yeah. the CGI was super cool. Really? I good, knew yeah. that. Once we got to this time, not necessarily 2020, but once we improved on movies and stuff mm -hmm. that we were going to get, we could get a movie like this because mm -hmm. they could do the CGI so much better. So for me, that was huge. Mm -hmm. um, loved how good they did do on the characters as far as their attire and their characteristics mm -hmm. minus, you know, the dislikes we said earlier. Yeah. But like Cabal, holy he crap, Cabal so was good. sick. And then so um, good. Kano. Like I said, great character. They chose a great actor for Kano. Yeah, he was probably amazing. honestly made the movie. Yeah. Um, same with Liu Kang and um, Kung Lao. Kung Lao Kung was Lao. so sick. And Kung, Kung Lao, Lao was perfect. Like, Kung Lao yeah. was perfect. His intro when he, he pops up through the floor with his teleport. Hate that he only did that like once in the movie. Mm -hmm. But he popped up in the floor. He's like, whoosh, whoosh, you know, it was so sick. I was like, dude, I want to go home and play Mortal Kombat right now <laughs> like i am paying to have an advertisement for the game right now this is the bet oh my gosh um th what i also did like i did like the amount of gore oh like, yeah there absolutely. wasn't there was there wasn't absolutely. a there wasn't a ton there was a ton but it was it was used sparingly it, it wasn't, wasn't overkill yeah it wasn't overkill with it so there was a decent amount of gore there um i think seeing the finishers was cool, like how the um, freaking the spinning hat the, and it. yes, the Kung Lao one. Oh my gosh, that was so perfect. But sorry, kind of throwing it to a dislike. That flying chick, she didn't do anything. No, like um, Shang or Shang Tsung's hyping this chick up, simping for this chick, and he's like, "Go kill him, my beauty." And she just kind of flies around and attacks him. And then Kung Lao's like, "Yeet!" And he yeah. like throws her through the thing. Like that was sick, but it she didn't do sick. anything. It's like, yeah, she deserved that. And then seeing um, Liu Kang's dragon. That dragon was sick. Yeah, it was. Dragon it was, was done. It was um, sick. The one thing I didn't like, uh, another dislike too, was like Cabal getting stuck in that quicksand. I was like, really? Like, yeah, they, it's like they didn't even establish that, that was there at first, right? Like they didn't establish like, oh, that was Liu Kang's uh, uh, game plan. Mm -hmm. He just kind of ended up there. Yeah, and you're like, he's like, what the heck? And but other than that, I, I honestly, in all actuality, think that this movie really did well, and I have a bad feeling that it's not gonna do well in the theaters. But I still think it's a movie that was well done. It definitely is better than some of the some of the sorry looking at you, DCEU, some of the other things WB has put out. But that is again without saying that they had a lot of winks and nods to certain things. We're not mm -hmm. gonna get into them here, but there was a lot of winks and nods to things that I think would have been better in the movie. Yeah. If they would have had instead of having Melina, would have had Katana. Because we saw her her fans. We her. saw her fans. But having Katana on Shang Tsung's side and not dying, so then when we get the next movie, Katana, if we get the next movie, Katana goes over to Raiden's side and we have Melina. Mm -hmm. Like we could have, we could have had that, but they're like, and I know they had their what they were doing, they had an idea of what they were doing. They're like, well, this is what we're gonna do, this is what we're gonna do. Okay. But at the same time, like you have so many characters at your disposal, you could have used those some of those other characters. I'll Instead admit, of killing off some of the coolest ones. Uh, yeah, I'll admit. I agree with you there. I did think that we were... So here's what I saw happening. And this is kind of like what was happening. Um, they were killing off the competition on Earthrealm. But I thought that they were going to defend them, defend them long enough for the actual tournament to start. Because they said we don't yes. even have a full moon's time. Which means that's a week. Yeah. Well, if you look at the movie, it takes place over like three or four days. Mm -hmm. Five days, maybe. Yeah. Like that they're training and that they're fighting and stuff. So it's like, why didn't you just do that? Where Earthrealm's catches on to the cheating basically mm -hmm. yeah they train up for it and then you actually have the, the mortal, tournament the tournament the mortal Kombat tournament exactly and then go through you literally could have used almost every character even if we only saw a glimpse of them fighting because mm -hmm. think about how many times in the old old games i've even played the arcade ones and mortal Kombat 9 when you're playing on that specific bridge level another like by the way they show the bridge level in yeah. this movie which was yeah. super cool but that bridge level um you see other fighters in the game fighting on other bridges in the background. 
you could have done the same thing in the movie. Where, another Easter egg? Yeah. In a sense, where like, in, like, okay, you show the tournament, and then on the maps, you see maybe like in one arena, you do a short two, three minute clip of um, Baraka and Goro fighting. And then you show another, and it slowly shows thing. the evolution of oh getting up to the tournament where it ends, where it's like, okay, we've got Earth Realm's last guy and, and Outer World's last guy. Here's the ending Outworld, of the Outworld, Outworld. Sorry, Outworld, where the last two. Uh, opponents in the tournament fight each other and there's your end of your movie so and you wanted the whole tournament in a sense not like the whole tournament i don't need to watch 10 minutes every fight right but just little glimpses of different fights happening all the way till it works up with some maybe like background drama in a sense i get like, that i get that i know, just feel like it wouldn't have had the emotional weight if you know they did because they, they have this big build up to now we're gonna get our 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 our, our, our combatants and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I just feel like doing that throwing because I was expecting you know the tournament as well, but at the same time I'm kind of glad we didn't because again, a bunch of the key characters or really good characters were killed off. Yeah, by the end of this movie, like there's like they could have. I'm sorry, they could have even had Baraka be the cannon fodder instead of Melina. Oh, like, absolutely. They, they could have done so many other things, and they kill off Goro. Like the new guy kills Goro. Well, and the that's re- my issue. Another issue I have is the new guy kills Goro. Yeah, he, you know, he gets his power and stuff like that. But Goro, like Goro, should, yeah, Goro, like Goro should like, have been he, the boss fight in a sense. Yeah, and that's that that well, that's the big fight that Liu Kang defeats Goro before he fights Shang Tsung, mm. and you know, and that's kind of like it's like Liu Kang the champion of earth realm. And then this new guy who just kept getting beat up the entire movie is able to fight this guy. Cause he has, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't, the movie, it was a good, it was an entertaining movie. Mm-hmm. It was entertaining. It did have some of those hammy things where they're like flawless victory, yeah. fatality. And I'm like, okay, that's, I see what you're doing there. You know, yeah. it's not taking itself too seriously, but I do think it should have stayed closer to, Hey, this is a tournament. We're having a tournament, or at least prepping for the tournament. Prepping for the which, tournament, which I guess, in a sense, they technically are based on the ending of the movie, but they left it open for them to continue. But all at the same time, you could also say that they left it to where they don't have to continue, and you can perceive what happens. Yeah, like but, I would like to see, you know, they they at the end of the uh, the movie, the new so everyone becomes a recruiter for Raiden <laughs> essentially. Basically, they become a recruiter instead of Raiden actually doing it himself. He be, they become recruiters, and the new guy, something, can't remember his name, Connor Young or whatever his name is, he's quitting his job, just being getting beaten up mm-hmm. at this gym, and um, he quits, and the guy's like, well, where are you going to go? You know, his employer's like, where are you going to go? And he says, well, Hollywood. The guy's like, what's in Hollywood? He's like, not what, who? And then he leaves, and then you obviously see, like, a thing uh, poster for Citizen Cage with Johnny Cage. And, then, again, I do like how Johnny wasn't in this. Because that if he if 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 it was him and Kano just having that banter back and forth, I feel like it just would have been too much. Because even Kano says joke after joke after mm-hmm. joke, and while a lot of them land, like after the the, the next one where he one of them where he's like, "What are you gonna do? Open a, a random door here?" And then Liu Kang opens it, and he's like, "Okay, that was pretty cool," you know. And then you're I'll like, admit, ah. yeah. "Yeah, yeah, I'll admit that was pretty cool." And then ha ha ha. And then a beat later, he says another joke, and you're like. Give me some breathing room, dude. Let me let me enjoy your jokes. Like you're a great actor, you're a great character, and I really hope he's not dead. I hope Sony just took out his eye, because that would because I was really pissed. I was like, that was the one person I was the most mad that they killed. Obviously, Cabal too, but and that's what I'm thinking. I'm honestly thinking that I don't think they're dead, just based on what happens in the end of the movie. I'm, I don't want revenant. Spoil- Bring it back as revenant. So we'll get into our final ratings. Final rating for me with everything that I saw. I'm personally giving it a 6.5. I didn't hate it, but I wasn't in love with it. it. I liked it enough so that I would go and play Mortal Kombat. And I really hope, I really hope that they, they put in the movie skins. I really hope that they put the movie skins in. So my rating on this, and I'm going to go with a seven and a half at least. Okay. Um, and the reason is, is because I did enjoy it. I thought there were some cool things. I did like the way they landed the fatality and brute or fatality. Yeah. And, Thing. I liked that. Um, I thought the characters did well. The actors did well. Um, and I could definitely see myself going to see the other one if mm. they come out with another one. Mm. So I'm going to get a seven and a half. Um, I, I got to give it at least somewhat of a good decent rating because there I was saying that I'm afraid it's not going to do well mm. because it's Mortal Kombat. You, you solely go for the gore and the violence, right? Mm-hmm. 
And I don't want it to fail because of that. Because I do think that if they really push this, they could do two or three films, maybe even four yeah. films with this. Because guess what? This is Mortal Kombat. It's extreme. As opposed to like Fast and the Furious, that gets ridiculous. But this is Mortal Kombat. You have to have that mindset that there's going to be some ridiculous fighting going on and some insane stuff that happens. Yeah. So I could see them doing successful with multiple films. Mm -hmm. And that's what I hope for, personally for me. That's so what we seven hope and for. a half. Seven and a half. Well, guys... That'll do it for this episode. Uh, I don't know when we'll be back. Well, there'll maybe I'll link up with Forrest and do something because Brady will be actually be out of town for a while. So with that said, go check out Mortal Kombat. Don't let our opinions ruin it for you. Make your own. Maybe you love it. Maybe Absolutely. you give it a 10 out of 10. Who knows? But that's what that's uh, that'll do it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys.